this is probably going to be a lot more unexpected than you expect me to make a video off of, but I really need to get this out of the way because other than me getting everything set up for my schedule this year, I really have more to talk about regarding to my schedule for next year. Yes, we're at the middle of this year, and the fact that we still have five more months left until we reach to 2021, but I really think I should probably address this for anyone who's really curious. Now, I'm just going to let this out, out of the way. Remember when I made those small videos where I tell you that I completed a month dedicated to my videos and stuff? Well, I'm not going to do that anymore. I mean, I am going to show you the schedule at the end of each month, but when it comes to me telling you that a schedule of each month is completed, it's really a waste of time. I honestly think that I really went through a lot of stress into making these videos and just telling you right off the bat that each schedule is over. I feel like I should probably just not do that because at this point, my September schedule is almost complete because of one video that a fanfic writer hasn't finished yet. Yes, the reason why I did not make a September schedule is complete video despite that all my videos are set up for that month is because one video isn't completed. I think you pretty much know what it is. It's, if you, when I upload my August 2020 schedule at the end of this month, you might find out. Now, I should probably get this out of the way. Now, people have been commenting on doing a month of dedicating to a cartoon that they enjoy. And for me personally, I think that's probably a good idea to do a month dedicated to a cartoon that I usually grew up with. But the thing is, as much as I like the idea, it can easily burn me out later. Which is probably the biggest issue I have when it comes to making each video. It's honestly really difficult to actually keep track on each cartoon that you enjoyed during your childhood while also not being burned out. Back in the 2000s when I watch Fosters and Kids Next Door, I usually really enjoyed those shows, but mainly the fact that I wasn't like the generation of today. And what I mean by that is, the generation of today don't see cartoons like these. Yes, there were cartoons in the 90s and 80s, but the difference is, is that in the 2000s, I think that's probably where the time will cartoons had its most highest and mostly lowest. I say that because with bad cartoons coming out and networks like Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon are slowly to become worse and worse because of the decisions, it's really something that people really just don't know what to actually expect from each network of what we of what product that they come out, like what cartoon it is. That's what I actually see when it comes to the people looking at cartoons of the present. Now granted, it is confusing that people just don't usually watch cartoons like we've grown up in the 2000s since that they were grown up in this general, in this decade. Well, not this decade, but in the last decade, which was in the 2010s. I really think that me honestly doing these videos does actually work for a cartoon history lesson, but at the same time, I usually want to try to keep up with modern stuff. Last year, at the end of 2019, I was into We Bail Bales. And at the same time, it was at the end of 2019. And since that was in the new year, I pretty much know full well that We Bail Bales is completely over in the spinoff. We Baby Bail Bales is going to happen, but... Jeez, I honestly think that this decade, as of now, is probably going to be a really huge mystery of what's going to happen next. I honestly think that the 2010s was probably the, the great the great time for cartoons to become really popular, popular like, like Adventure Time and other cartoons that I've watched during that time. 
But looking at right now, even though that we're in the first year of this decade, we're all way halfway there. Mainly the fact that time is starting to become faster and faster, and the fact that it just hasn't been the same. I'm just saying. It's mainly the fact of what's going to happen in 2021, other than the release of Generation 5 from My Little Pony. It's going to be a really big mystery of what I actually feel about each cartoon if I'm actually interested in. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. The reason why I didn't review the cartoons that I've mostly watched in 2010 is mainly because I wasn't really interested in them. It isn't because they were boring or that kind of stuff or the fact that they were just mostly uh, me or go at best from my perspective. It's just that I was just trying to actually focus on other projects while I was growing my YouTube channel since it all started in 2016. And besides, before that, I tried to get into Adventure Time but by watching most of the episodes, but I just couldn't. It just wasn't the same. The thing is, is that I don't usually keep track on the stuff that I usually enjoy. I've watched wrestling, I've mostly look at video game videos, and I usually look at the old cartoons that I grew up with. It's the, nothing against the newer cartoons of the present, but the thing is, it's honestly difficult to keep track on, tra to keep track on any of these cartoons, whether of you, what, whether of you actually enjoyed these shows or not. Now, I want to make one thing clear, and this has been going on for the last few or couple or several days between me since I haven't made a video for a future schedule. I'm starting to actually try to watch these shows more focusedly since I want, since I'm running out of episode review ideas for a holiday and a schedule for the future. Yes, I'm actually thinking about doing reviews of not only the old cartoons, but also the newer cartoons. And, to make one thing perfectly clear, if you see these three screenshots, you will probably stun that they are actually featured. No, this isn't a mistake of me adding images of a photo in one of my photo things for my videos. This is actually true. I actually am starting to watch Steven Universe, for real. And it was right after Steven Universe Future came to an end several months ago. I only watched the first episodes from the first season, and I did watch one episode involving Paul and Steven. But at the same time, there was a lot, and I mean a lot, to watch from this show. Unlike Adventure Time, I actually think that this show really did a good job on the characters, and I'm really starting to enjoy it. It's just a shame that I completely watched the show after it came to an end, but at the same time, I'm not really regretful whatsoever. If there's one thing I need to address is the fact of how I upload these videos at, at the right time. Now look. The videos that I'm going to be making next is the Halloween videos. Yep, I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to actually upload Halloween reviews for October, but just reviews. Not fanfic reviews, just Halloween reviews. And I'm just going to say right now that the cartoons that I've been watching lately, like Steven, Gumball, and Regular Show, and maybe Eventual Time, I'm not going to upload any of the Halloween-related episodes from the, from the shows to my October schedule. Because I've already got my schedule planned out, not to mention that there were other videos I need to discuss, mainly the fact that I didn't review the Foster's Halloween special of last year. And not only that, well, I pretty much got the fanfic greens out of the way for October schedule, and... The only fanfic readings I need to focus on is my December schedule. No, I'm not going to upload a fanfic reading in November because I've already got something special for that month. I'm just going to point this out right now is that the videos that 
I want to focus on is is the ones that I usually have plans on doing despite being bombed out. Believe me, my sis, is that the more I actually look at these cartoons, the more I did in the past decade, I really have a different perspective. And the fact that we're in a different decade, well, so much has been going on in just the last almost seven months of this year. I honestly think that I really had to experience so much because at the same time, as of me right now, I'm doing, I'm writing a fanfic that it's mainly about hearts and hoof stays for My Little Pony, despite the fact that it's in a crust you guys, and the fact that I'm thinking of doing my Christmas stories ahead of time, so that I can actually upload, so I, so, so I can actually make those videos for my Dece December schedule ahead of time, instead of just completely submitting those stories in December. Believe me, last year I made so many Christmas stories involving My Little Pony and it was a pain for me to actually do all of them and pick one of them for my December 2019 schedule. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is, is that there was so much going on at the moment that I just cannot keep track of. I understand that some of you guys are looking forward to some of the stuff that I want to watch, but at the same time, I want to do other activities to keep myself occupied. I know some of you guys are really shocked at the fact that I'm actually watching Steven Universe just like I am doing Three Bad Bells last year, and in the difference between this and Three Bad Bells is that the characters are really memorable, but at the same time, there was only one episode from this show that I'm going to be reviewing and it's going to be part of my December schedule of Christmas reviews. I know it's really not enough and you have to wait for about five months until I upload these videos, but the thing is, it's honestly what I do whenever I look at these cartoons. I'm trying to put as much focus on one of them, but at the same time, I do not want to pressure myself into completely doing everything at one time. There is a reason onto why I make limit little to few videos per week for each month. It is honestly disappointing, but at the same time, I do not want to pressure myself. Because whenever I have to think about thinking about doing the month dedicated to Fosters in 2021, I have to also focus on the episodes I, have to, I want to reveal from Steven Universe. Again, I've already watched the first episodes, and I'm trying to actually keep track on the main episodes from the first and second and the other seasons. And the first season is the longest season. And considering I'm watching, and considering the fact that Miss Anthropony is making several videos or a long video discussing the fall of Steven Universe, I think that pretty much caught my attention on what I actually want to see from Steven Universe. And also see the fall of what... It costs if we knew for us to use its, well, gems. Not being really sexual stuff, I'm just trying to actually need to see the brightness of what Steven Universe really hit so much impact in the cartoon community in the last decade. But anyway, that's basically all I have. As of right now, I still have several more videos for Summer Palooza 2 to be culminated. Not to mention that I'm going to upload my August schedule of later this year. And I am going to try to think about keeping these ideas straight. Because I'm letting you know, letting you know right now is that there are always going to be changes no matter what. Believe me when I say this is that as much as that you do not like some of these changes, it's literally for the better... It's literally for the greater good for myself, at least. Granted, it's something that I really think that I'm trying to actually put some more attention on other materials that I look at. But keep this in mind, this is my channel. And I'm really trying to please everyone, despite the fact that I don't keep track of the cartoons, besides My Little Pony. Well... I know I didn't do that with Generation 4, but my plans and goals for Generation 5 is that I'm going to try to watch every single episode while also trying to make a review of it. So yeah, I do have plans for 2021. 
So, I really hope that you actually keep this in perspective of what I actually try to do for my channel. I'm Lonely Fanboy Boy here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. While I upload another Summer Palooza 2 video, and me reacting to Christian Miracle's WrestleMania 30, 636 Sins of Part 2.